Hi guys, it's Tiffany Breck. We are here at BDHQ in beautiful downtown Victoria, and today I'm going to be showing you five of my favorite full body kettlebell workouts. Check it out. All right, so finding your nice squat stance position, have your feet shoulder distance, maybe a little bit wider apart. And I like to say, squeeze your butt cheeks together and see where your toes wanna to point. That's gonna follow the line of your joints really nicely when you're actually squatting down. We're gonna pick up our kettlebell by the horns or by the ball, whatever feels better. And hanging on nice and close to your chest, elbows in tight. We're gonna sink down, hips back, knees out into our squat position. Once you're there at the bottom, lower your kettlebell down to the ground, bring it back on up in towards your chest, bicep curl and stand on back up. And then wrapping that kettlebell around your head, bringing it back in front of your face, elbows tight, doing it again. Sinking those hips down, lowering your kettlebell and curling it back in towards your chest on the bottom, standing up and wrapping it around your head. For our next exercise, we're doing plank pulls. So starting in a high plank position, keeping your feet a little bit wider than you would in a normal high plank. Um, shoulder distance may be a bit wider just for that extra support and stability. Just outside the right side of your body, we're gonna reach under with your left hand, grabbing onto the kettlebell and dragging it across the floor to your left side, planting your left hand, reaching under your body with your right hand dragging the kettlebell under, planting your right hand, and repeating on the other side. Next up, we've got kettlebell deadlift high pull. So taking your feet wide, toes can have a slight point out if that feels comfortable. Hinging back from your hips, that kettlebell is in between the arches of your feet. Hanging onto the top, we are coming back up. Deadlift, elbows drive high, kettlebell in towards your chin, high pull, and reversing back down. Bringing that weight up in towards your chin, hinging from your hips, breaking at your hips or your knees. Challenging our balance for this next one, finding a lunge position. Think about being on a train track instead of tightrope. So finding a nice wide base, sinking that back knee down to hover. Front knee should be stacked over your ankle bone, not tracking out over your toe. Bringing your kettlebell in your hand, palm facing towards you, arm at 90 degrees, swinging your arm out and pressing up. So your arm bone is in line with your ear and then slowly lowering back down to 90 and bringing that kettlebell back in front of your face.
exercise. Single arm kettlebell swing. So we are switching hands here, finding that rhythm, hinging your hips back and hanging onto your kettlebell, using some momentum to swing the kettlebell out in front of you with one arm, reaching back between your legs, kettlebell swings up to shoulder height and work on that mid-air catch and switch. Opposite hands, changing grip at the top of your swing. All right, so in conclusion, uh, kettlebell is an awesome way to build muscular endurance, build strength, stamina, um, it's functional. Did I say that already? <laughs> no, awesome. Um, and uh, it's a great way to stay in shape and it is a fun tool to throw into your regular workout routine. If you wanna change it up, add some variety, it is, um, it's there for you. It's compact, it's lightweight. You could do it just about anywhere. Uh, if you want to follow me on social, check the description box below. I am at liftwithtiff on Instagram, uh, liftwithtiff.com, and uh, hope to connect with you all soon. Mm -hmm.